Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Earlier today, Raila Odinga attended a burial ceremony in Kakamega County, Mumias East constituency. A burial ceremony for Kakamega governor, Fernandez Baraza's mother. And among those who are present was born Yaluale, Senate Majority Whip. Yes. And uh, it turned very interesting when Boni Aluale taking to his social media accounts posted that Raila Odinga ignored him during that ceremony. Let's have a look at Aluale's post. Boni Aluale. Today, I met with the Azimio Honcho. Pissed off with me. Nevertheless, I ignored him, happily going on to greet and exchange niceties with Kalonzo Musioka. Watu wawache hasira ya kupoteza kura. And then you are seeing, he has shared a photo of him greeting Kalonzo Musioka there. And then you are seeing Raila Odinga also there. So that post by Boni Aluale, Aluale is just trying to insinuate that Raila Odinga ignored him and most likely never greeted him. That's the message Boni Aluale is trying to pass out to Kenyans. And Kenyans have been having valid opinions on that because it was later exposed that indeed Raila Odinga greeted Boni Aluale. Yes. And uh, let me just show you what some what Kenyans have actually been sharing. If you look at uh, that photo there by Kenyans.coke, Raila Odinga greeting Boni Aluale in Kakamega. Kaluale had earlier claimed that Raila had ignored him. And you are seeing Boni Aluale greeting a smiling Raila Odinga. Yeah. So it's actually a fact. Raila never ignored him. Raila greeted him. In this video as usual, I want us to dig deep into that story to see the truth behind that story. If you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. What's Kalwale's game plan here? Why is Kalwale lying using Raila's name? That's what I want us to find out in this video. The first thing coming out clearly, Boni and Wale is trying to please his masters for more government favors. Alwale is already the government's chief whip in the Senate. And Boni Alwale is trying to please those who nominated him for that post. He is trying to please them for more government favors. In this case, even some government tenders here. And Boni Alwale is doing that deliberately because he knows his bosses are happy with any leader belittling and disrespecting Raila Odinga. So Boni Alwale just want to show his masters that I, I attended that battle ceremony and I ignored that as a mere leader. I ignored Raila Odinga. Alwale knows that can please his masters. So that's exactly what Boni Alwale is trying to do here. The second thing coming out clearly, Boni Alwale is seeking attention. He just wants Kenyans to talk about him. Because, you know, mentioning Raila Odinga's name eh, is something that can elicit a lot of discussions among Kenyans. So Boni Alwali just wanted that. He wanted his name to be men mentioned today. That he ignored Raila Odinga. There was drama in Kakamega. Boni Alwali wants him, him to be the topic. Boni Alwali is disparate for attention. That's also something 
I'm seeing here. And I'm also seeing a body alone who is just exposing the true nature of leaders in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance and their brand of politics. And I'm saying that because if you look at Kenya Kwanzaa leaders, especially the top leadership, they came to power, or rather they rode to power on falsehood and propaganda. Yes, that defines Kenya Kwanzaa brand of politics. So Boni Alwale is just being himself, just exposing the true nature of leaders in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. They can only remain relevant through lies and propaganda. That's exactly what is, is happening here. Boni Alwale is just being himself, exposing the true Kenya Kwanzaa leadership. And also, if you look at it from another angle, I'm seeing a Boni Alwale who is just naturally arrogant, disrespectful, and abusive. And I'm also seeing a Boni Alwale who is just full of himself. And I'm saying that because in his subsequent tweets, he was boasting on how he was the senior most government official who attended that function. Yes, he was boasting that way in his subsequent tweets. So you are just seeing Aboni Alwale, who is just naturally proud. Mm -hmm. Aboni Alwale, who is just full of himself. And even listening to how Aboni Alwale speaks, be it through interviews, be it in public, you can see a man who is full of himself. Mm -hmm. Any opportunity Alwale gets, be it interviews, you'll just pick out that from him. He's very proud full of himself and very abusive. And that's exactly what he's trying to expose through that tweet. Very abusive as usual. And one thing Boni and Wally should know is that you can't be lucky twice. I personally believe Boni and Wally is Kakamega senator because there was no strong opponent challenging him for that seat. That's how Boni and Wally found himself the senator of Kakamega. And I'm saying that because initially, Kalwale was gunning for Kakamega gubernatorial seat. And Kalwale opted out of that seat because he knew he could not match or beat Fernandez Baraza. And if you look at Kakamega politics in 2022, almost all strong leaders in Kakamega were going for gubernatorial seats. There is where men were squaring it out. Boni Alwale chickened out of that battle and opted for the Senate where there was no competition. So the mere fact that he has been elected the senator does not mean that the people of Kakamega loved him that, loved him that much. It's only that there were no strong opponents challenging him. Boni Alwale should and must know that. And he should know he can't be lucky twice. Mm, he can't be lucky twice. So Boni Alwale should serve his people. He should avoid these side issues and the dramas. Because the more he is seen as a dramatist and a leader who is not serious, that will affect him in future. Maybe if he plans on going or contesting, for Kakamega gubernatorial seat, that might work against him in that people of Kakamega might see him as a joker. And I'm saying that because that worked against Cleophas Malala. In fact, the reason why residents of Kakamega rejected Malala is because they saw Cleophas Malala as a joker. He was full of drama. He was full of side shows. That's why Malala was rejected. So Boni Alwale has to be very careful on how he plays his politics. He should be seen as a serious leader, not engaging in side shows, drama, and disrespecting other leaders. That's what Alwale should and must know. Yes. And also, even before I conclude, I believe that that post by Boni Alwale has backfired. It has exposed Boni Alwale as a liar. 
and it has exposed Kenya Kwanzaa leadership as also condoning lies and, and politicians of propaganda. Yes, that seems to be the ideology of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Let me stop it there. Just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you, God bless Kenya. Any other person who want to support our channel, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number. Yes, or feel free to channel any contribution to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.